Okay, well this is uh, one of the two Suffolks that I got a couple of days ago. Uh, the other one's in pretty good nick, and uh, so is this one actually. But, as you can probably tell by the um, title of the video, this is why you have to tighten down flywheels on engines. You have to torque them up. They don't have to be incredibly tight, but they have to be tight. This um, engine's flywheel nut was loose. So uh, the first thing we obviously have is a slightly churned up flywheel key. It's not too bad, but it is knackered. But this engine is then being run with that churned up flywheel key and a loose flywheel nut and it's continued to run she's tried her best to keep going but the crankshaft is knackered we get pictures of that now but the damage doesn't stop there this nice old Suffolk flywheel it's got a great big crack in it and the flywheel key is also massacred the keyway so yeah there you go you've got to tighten down flywheel nuts they have to be tight not overly tight but they have to be nipped up quite well otherwise you're going to get this damage this engine needs a replacement crankshaft a replacement flywheel and a replacement flywheel key lucky enough I have all the bits to get this Suffolk going again without having to spend anything because I've had a couple of Suffolks that are past their best and I've got a spare crankshaft and a spare flywheel so I'm going to be lucky I'm going to get away with it but yeah there you go that's why you really need to tighten up the flywheels on your engines.